All right, on the fine motor skills, these are going to involve finely tuned movements, such as a task that requires finger dexterity. So infants, they hardly have any fine motor control. Like if they're using some type of utensil, they're going to grab it like this. We talked about in an earlier one uh, with their entire palm. They get better, though. So they refine their ability with two different types of grasps. The palmer grasp is the one where you have it in your entire hand like this, and then the pincer grip. And so when you start to get small objects with your thumb and your forefinger, so like the ability to write, you need to be able to do this. You see some kids, they're writing, writing, they'll have a crown or a pencil, and they'll be doing it like this. And you'll eventually get to this point where you use this pincer grip like that. And so for this to be possible, you have to have perceptual motor coupling. And so essentially you want to provide your kid with the ability to perceive and respond to different types of stimulus. You would like to provide them with what I call novel stimuli, playing with different toys, being involved in different activities because it helps to build those synaptic pathways that we talked about, I think it was last chapter. So for, as an example, this is something life used to do too, using little building blocks. And what you want to do is see how many blocks they can get up there because it takes a lot of precision to be able to grab the block. And then the idea of balancing those blocks on top of each other, it takes a lot of uh, dexterity to be able to do that. This does get better with age. Obviously, one of the reasons increased myelination of the central nervous system. We talked about this before. It support, supports the improvement of fine motor skills. That myelination just is a refresher is a covering of the axon with myelin sheath and so it speeds information transfer from neuron to neuron. Children begin to use their hands more skillfully as they age. Then from ages 10 to 12 they begin to show manipulative skills similar to the abilities of an adult. Complex, intricate, and rapid movements can be mastered during this time. The examples fine quality crafts or playing a different a difficult piece on a musical instrument so somewhere between 10 and 12 They'll have the dexterity to be able to do that on par with an adult if they have the experiences. It's kind of a side note. It was just a couple weeks ago I saw a street performer. He was a, a guitarist, and he was playing the entire song Bohemian Rhapsody on the guitar. He was playing all of the instruments, all the vocals, all on one guitar. It's very impressive. And he was like, he gets down with the song, and he goes, thanks. You, know, you go to what, my website. I'm 13 years old. And it was like, whoa, 13, to be able to have that precision. And to have that much experience at that age, it was very impressive. I think I found the link for him, and I'll try to post it if I can find it. Girls in this area usually outperform boys in fine motor skills on average. So boys outperformed girls a little bit ago. Now the girls are outperforming the boys. Okay, on the next slide, we'll get into sensation and perception.